All right. In our last gaming session, you guys had uh, <laughs> dealt with the strange, fiery, demonic uh, cartwheel with the face in the middle of it that was trying to kill everyone. Uh, the Wan Yandu. And uh, then noticed that two of your companions had gone missing, presumably at the beginning of the battle before you even realized anything was going on. Then you had another several members of your party go missing, and then one by one, you guys all fell prey to whatever mysterious uh, enemy that you had tracking you down and woken in a inside a large uh, cell in some sort of dungeon made of jade. Uh, you managed to pick a lock, find the corpses of your, uh, your new known friend's previous party in the cell across from you, uh, <laughs> looted their bodies for what they had of, of the use. good. <laughs> and we're now faced with two separate bronze doors with these demon heads on each of them. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not that good. I just thought. Why not? Visual imagery. All right, so the dotted lines is because this is the Those are all the cells. Those are the cells. The cells. Those, those the cells yep. Right. Uh, th there is not enough room in the hallway for all seven of you to fit. So the cleric, feeling a little woozy, is standing in the cell waiting for there to be room. You just have to determine which door you wish to try to use first. Nobody has gas. Well, which one is our, ro is our resident rogue closest to? Um, this one? Here, so I'm over here. Well, you guys can shift into the various cells and move around yeah. and get through one another to check out whichever doors you want. I'm assuming that... So, so this is like an airline Pretty uh, much. Much, or yeah. pile? Okay. Alright, so you're going to go over and yeah, right? Because hmm? you're going to check out the door. Other lights on. Um, yeah, maybe. Ian, Why can you clip the lights on? Which, the closest one here? Yeah. Middle, yeah. One more time. Yeah, right. uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let there be light. Give me sight. And it was good. So you've decided that you're coming over to check out this the door. Well, somebody shoved me in front of it, so apparently I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a knock door. This door. Check the damn door. Do I was like rubbing things. my nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, unless otherwise specified, I'm going to assume that this is the marching order that you're going to be in. Mm. All right, pause. Hmm. All right, so let's get back to this. So uh, apparently, you get pushed towards one of the one of the two doors, though they look fairly identical. So, you, but this is the one you wind up getting pushed in front of. Closer. You that see a locking mechanism on it uh, inside the mouth of the demon. <laughs> Always my favorite. <laughs> Jay's a stick. Then. Do you have a stick? They may have Zip. a stick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want that stick bitten off. Taking one for the team, take it to a whole new level. I'll, um, I will inspect it for traps. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Yeah, I don't think I have a uh, anything in my scholar's pack. Ten. So seventeen. 17. Uh, you're checking it out, um, and from what you can tell, it does not actually appear to be trapped in any way. The, the lock itself uh, is very archaic, much in the same way as the locks on the cell doors were very old. Uh, so it's a, a, they're a little bit more, they're not really more up to date, but they are a little bit more complex, but it should not be too much trouble for you to actually um, pick. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's see what your dice have to say. Let's see what my dice have to say. First, real quickly, I'm going to oil the hinges. Okay. Because I don't like squeaky hinges. <laughs> then I will go to uh, pick, pick the lock. lock. 
Lucky, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? A two. Mm. So. Plus. For lockpick, lockpicking, that's a. Uh, Dex plus dex. your proficiency. Because you have yeah. two stools. Unless you are have your expertise in that, which so I don't know where you put your expertise in. So, so nine. So, so you're like. I got a crowbar. I gotta go back to rogue school. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I attempt again? Um, no, you won't. You oh, can't. I can't. Oh, oh, we're not going to that door then. Is it, can someone else try? I don't know. Does anyone else have lock picking? I don't think anyone. Tools or skills? I don't think so. I bought what lock is, picks. You do? I this bought lock picks. Status. There you go. Because <laughs> I said. That, yeah. Because, because we didn't have a rogue last time we were down there. And well, oh, you did, but... But they got crushed. <laughs> so, and then we had to move on. So I bought lockpicks. <laughs> <laughs> they moved on rather quickly, by the way. We did. Oh, that's well, we Look very at this room over here. We weren't very close to them in <laughs> game yet. I like, was like, oh, that sucks. Conveniently, but the party I... that's been together longer did not get crushed. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I bought lockpicks. Can I try it? Yeah. yeah. Right. You just don't have proficiency, so I think it's just your straight dex. Yeah. That's all. all right. What is my current status? Uh, you feel sick to your stomach, but you are there. You have some sh some schmutz on your forehead. I don't know if anybody bothered to tell you or not. No. Just my dex? Well, yeah. at least not in the video. 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you go up to it and you're like... Click. Like this. <laughs> and, then, and then the trap goes off. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and this spray of like green gas <laughs> down the, the line of the hallway here. The uh, everyone there make constitution saving throws. <laughs> In that long line there. Oh, yeah. She will actually have to make a save too. So if you have her character, she, she would be in the, the cone. So. 22. 19! Alright, hold on. I forgot what you asked. Is that a saving so throw? Saving yeah, okay, so I have advantage on it. Because mm -hmm. I rolled a 2. So I'm going to roll again. And I rolled a 4. Also. Hey, you doubled it, man. That's the yeah. way to go. So Double the 7. Bet. 7? Yeah. 22. 22. Good <clears> team. <throat> uh, 12. 13, sorry. 19? Alright, so. He's got to roll one more. Mm. Uh, and she got an eight. Oh, all right. <coughs> so, nine, 19. All right, so anybody that got a uh, 12 or lower takes 19 points of damage. Everyone else takes nine points of damage. Poison damage, specifically. Does that last? Does it keep like ticking down our health? No. Okay. It's just just if you have poison resistances or anything, you take half oh, damage. Okay. Did we? Like we didn't okay. rest, so this would still be my hit points. So I would have. I thought we rested. We did rest before yeah. we fell into the. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. Well, somebody technically fell. she didn't because she ran off in the middle of the night and. Uh, yeah. I was unconscious oh, for twelve so hours. Doesn't that count? Did mm -hmm. our hit points? Go, did they go back up? Yeah, I'll allow it. So you you weren't were molested in that night, whatever. so You're nobody came and tortured you or anything of that nature. But so. did the max hit points, didn't they change right. because they got lower? Or did that it was only temporary. Time? 12 and below took how much? Uh, 12 and below took uh, 19. Yeah, 19. 19. 19. Anybody that saved, a.k.a. got above that. I barely saved. <laughs> Still saved, though. I did not. I'm not gloating about getting the lock open. But the door is unlocked. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to step back and let the rogue go through so he can... He can check <laughs> and trip traps. Sure. Trip traps again. <laughs> this is Worked your last time. <laughs> so the door is unlocked. My plan almost worked. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get rid of me. Awesome. Um... I'll stealthily open the door, I guess. Okay. 
So you open the door, uh, you oiled it so it doesn't make any particularly uh, loud grating noises or anything. There is a slight uh, squeak to it just from the weight of it. Uh, but it opens up into a short 15 foot long hallway that ends in another door, precisely like the one you just opened. Cool. All right, pause. pause. What's up? Okay, well, so you dark. opened up the other door and you see down a 15 foot long corridor and another door precisely like the door that you just dealt with. Same face. Sweet. Does the door on that we just opened that had the face facing out, the other side yeah. of that door, is it identical? You have no idea. Because okay. you're back here. You're way out. <laughs> okay. All you see is butts. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fight. Miss. Well, the door um, already did that for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. going to check the hallway for traps. Okay. Investigation. And I'm going to die. <laughs> for 10. Uh, you're checking it out. Uh, the hallway seems a little sketchy, but you don't see any obvious traps. <laughs> <laughs> shove him into the room. How do you check for traps? Investigation. But you're in. Push him in. <laughs> no. You're away in the back here right now, yeah. though. So. And I can't hold So, what you doing? He doesn't appear to be trapped. You have a. You could go pick up a body and throw it in there. Here's a crowbar. Throw that. Yeah, because I need to make a lot of noise. <laughs> Just be sure to cast light on it first. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Important. If there's spider webs, set the Set him on fire. Yeah, that's that's important. Got ball bearing. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what you gonna do? Go in there and take damage because that's the only thing I can do. All right. So you set foot on it a first first step into the thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. Okay. That second step's a doozy though. Second step. He <laughs> dies. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you make Play your way over towards the other door way. and. Going are you guys there. following, or are you just gonna go, just gonna stay where you're at? Where are go? All right. So you see that they stay back there as you approach this this door. I'm gonna pull a wet stone out of my bag and kind of work on my axe while this is all going down because I got no idea what's going on over there. There's a lot of cloaks in this hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to check check the next door for traps. Out, so. Okay. Investigation. <clears throat> um, so thirteen. All right, so you're checking it over. You got an idea of what you're looking for this time. Kind of look it over. Seems safe. <laughs> seems safe. <laughs> Can I dismantle the seem safe? <laughs> it's not an actual safe. <laughs> Either way, uh, if I don't know what's there. I can't fix it. Um, all right, so I guess I'll just write it and unlock the door. Okay. Do you have a the table like the other? Dice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> it's it's not going to matter, Marie. No matter what dice I pick out of this bag. So what did you get? That was a was a five or five. Yeah. So that was sorry. That would be. It's plus seven. Yeah. No. Thirteen. No. Zero. It's dex plus dex. your proficiency. Yeah. So. So twelve. All right. So you're like, click, yeah. pops open. I uh, oil those hinges okay. before we open the door. And then I'm going to open the door slowly. Alright, so you open the door and you peer into a dark, unlit space. Who has dark vision? <laughs> Actually, I, have a, well, I thought I had a torch. Well, we had torches. There's the torches room. in there. Yeah, in the hallway. Do you want someone with dark vision or a torch, though? Because what if something's in there and you wake it up with a torch? I have dark vision. Go look in that room. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, so. All right, so you move forward and you peer inside and you see uh, a uh, a long room, 
approximately 20 feet wide and 80 feet, or sorry, 40 feet in length. Uh, one end has a horseshoe of uh, bookshelves with all these old tomes kind of st uh, stacked into it. Some of them, you can see some of the pages are kind of sticking out and what have you. Uh, there is a little pedestal kind of that kind of sits in the center of it, on top of which is just empty at the moment. But it looks like where you would basically lay out a book. To the other side, you see a, a irregular stone, um, what, possibly an altar of some sort, that's basically just kind of on the stone floor, kind of comes up almost like an anvil, just kind of mushrooms up and with a big, broad, flat surface and some odd markings all along the top of it. Otherwise, you don't see anything in this room. There's no movement and uh, obviously there's no light source. There is a torch in a sconce directly uh, across from you in the wall though. Okay, well, <clears throat> relay that to him that the room looks clear and if he wants to check it for traps or just go in, I don't know how cautious he wants to be. Mm -hmm. But we're in a weird satanic jade dungeon thing, I don't know. <laughs> He's just all that angrily grumbling to himself. <clears throat> Dungeons. Um, we'll just light the torch. Okay, so you just get a torch? Mm hmm. Alright. There was one over here, you said? Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over here and grab this one, light it, and then go back. Try not to light her on fire. Okay. That's fine. I'll move into the room. All right. So you move into the room, and he kind of moves in along behind you. Oh, uh, we're moving. I don't know. Yes. Is everybody yeah. moving up? I'm, I'm moving in. Yeah. So you said there were there are books in the room. There are books in the room. I am gonna look at the books. So you go over towards <laughs> the books. I would also like to. Look All right. Hold on. Where are you going? I'm gonna go back out of this room, and like. If everyone's piling in here, then I'm going to go guard the hallway, make sure nothing comes out from that way. Okay. Steve? Um, I'm just scoping the room out, so I'm kind of working my way around over here. Okay. Looking at this altar thing that here. Alright. Um, oh. Or, sorry, gnome? I will... I don't know if I want to look at the, the altar or the books first. Probably the books. Go over towards the books. Um, I'm probably gonna go head back with her. Just, oh my god, what was that? <coughs> yeah, it looked like, like a gnome. <laughs> and I fell asleep, it. or whatever it was that happened. There was no gnome, but now there's a gnome. And we're. Alright. Uh, All right. You wanted to go to the books? Yep. She needs some ear scratches. Dwarf. Uh, she's gonna go peer her head in here. There's, uh, there's no witch in here, and no exit. So, come on, let's go! Okay. Meanwhile, you. You're kind of looking over, you're kind of standing back over there, kind of on watch. You want to go mess with the other door? Keep or are you just going to stay on watch? I'm just going to stay on watch. Okay. Steve? Give me so, a perception please. check, or investigation check, as you are searching around. The, you're searching the walls, right? Yeah, the, well, yeah, around this area. So the walls. Uh, <clears throat> Eighteen. All right. So as you're kind of looking at the walls, uh, you notice that there are uh, the the walls are kind of irregular anyway because they're made out, the the walls are made out of like jade blocks basically, mm -hmm. uh, and it has some like kind of decorative uh, chiseling and everything into it. Uh, but you notice that there are slight, uh, very very shallow indentations for like various little tiny little symbols all kind of basically all in this on the walls each of the stones has a bunch of tiny tiny little symbols hmm. etched into it well, that's ominous looking uh, silent would there be any reason that there'd be a bunch of symbols carved in the wall like a trap um or a warding type thing can I do a check to figure out what they would be, like Arcana, to see if they have any magical use? Um, sure. You want to abandon the looking at the... Well, I'm just answering his question about <coughs> the symbols, not looking at the symbols. Oh, okay. All right, good. So, yeah, just an Arcana check. Uh, 
12. Um, you don't really, there's lots of symbols involved in the arcane, so it could be anything. Mind you, you think, if anything, since it's an altar, you'd think it's probably divine in some, some nature more than actual yeah. arcane. Like, I mean, it could potentially be used for ritual purposes, but uh, seeing as there's an altar in the room, it might be more of a divine thing than a magical thing. Maybe the, the cleric will know more. Gnome. So you're over, kind of looking at the books, as he's kind of talking over his shoulder, uh, absentmindedly at the rogue. You're kind of perusing the books, kind of at your level, which would basically be hip height for pretty much everybody else. Uh, give me an investigation check. Yeah, don't use that one. So use it. Okay. So use that. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, so you're kind of searching through the, the various books and everything, kind of perusing. Um, none of them really stand out to you. Uh, most of them are seem to be like really old history books. And I mean like really old. We're talking like 500, more than 500 years at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, various texts on family lineages and uh, the heretical pop, like, uh, line of the various kings and rulers and not just here in this kingdom but in, like a variety of different okay. kingdoms. So it's mostly just kind of books about such and such begot such and such begot such and such begot, begot such and such. It's basically just a really long elaborate family tree. Okay. But no particular book kind of stands out to you in this particular case. And there's nothing that's um, kind of on creatures or anything? Okay. Alright. We still don't know. So um, you... Things. Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, I was just going to tell them um, these books are just mainly history books. There's not really much in them, and there doesn't seem to be anything on any creatures, so that wouldn't really help us tell us what or how that thing that attacked us came to be. Meanwhile, the druid, you're standing back there with her. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I'm still pulling it together. Like, what happened? Why is there a gnome back there? Why are we all here? Why is this place made of jade? Uh, what's with the dead bodies? Oh, okay, and, and okay, this, slow this down, slow down. Situation here. That's <laughs> disgusting. There was a, an attack. There was an attack on the town, and we were all heading there. And then I, the attack was over, and you were gone. And the barbarian, Connie, Connie, the cleric. yeah, the cleric. Connie was gone, and we had no idea where you were. We went looking for you guys, and all of us ended up here, one by one. Who's Connie? The the cleric. The oh, right. from <laughs> that the other. Yeah. And anyway, yeah, so right. when the town got attacked. We met the gnome, and she was helping us fight it, and then we all just ended up here. But it was like some kind of weird green circle, some kind of magic. I don't know. I don't know about these things. Uh, that's all right. At least you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll flash something, and then <coughs> I woke up to you guys. That's... Well, thank oh. you. All right, so... It's not the worst morning after. Nope. Especially Would you like to give an investigation on yes. the books? I kind of want to focus on the lectern or the. Oh, okay. That. So you kind of see if. Uh, it itself is made out of carved jade. It kind of has like a, a twisting spiral kind of shape column that kind of comes up and kind of comes out to this broad, flat, kind of slightly leaning, angled uh, place for a book. Uh, but there's currently no book on said okay. lectern. Is there anything to investigate on it, or? Yeah, you can do an okay. investigation. Just want to see if out. there's any hints on what could be going on here. That's good. Um, 24. Um, you're kind of looking it over, and the whole thing is relatively plain, but you kind of check out the top of it, 
and you're pretty sure that there should be a book here. Uh, it looks like at one time, based off of the way, that, like when something sits in a spot for a really long time without moving, kind of you, 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 there's like a dust, clean spot, basically. Yeah. There is very distinct clean spot, like there was a book or something that was here for a really, really long time, and, and it is no still. longer here. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like there was a book of some import here, but it is missing. Was it me? Do you want to check out the books on the top shelf since I'm short? <laughs> <laughs> what is Connie's um, religion? Re religion? Kamorian. Well, I'm talking about her skill. You have to do that. I know. No, no, no. Not today. Plus four. Plus four. Oh, the actual skill. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for a god or god. Um, <laughs> she's kind of, she kind of looks it over. She's like, there's some sort of rituals that go on here, but not to any particular deity that I can recognize. Um, matter of fact, I'm not even completely certain it's religious based at all. Okay. I don't understand these 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 people here anyway. The religion <laughs> is weird. Uh, she kind of stops out. Are they ready to go yet? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Don't run away. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hold up? Meanwhile, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah, there's only three people in the room, so fine, fine, fine. Galloway, I'll come unlock the other door and light wow, you all on fine. fire. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Take forever. Well, you gotta mm -hmm. so we'll uh, You can move through friendly people. people. Dead. Right. We just we don't actually have to rearrange all of the yeah. so yeah. can He's like, no, move each one. <laughs> I just didn't when you start messing with it, the warden, you just need to know where everybody's at. Are you two still hanging out in the I'm trying to usher everybody else out of that room. I'm, Let's go. I'm gonna do one last look over on the books. So especially okay. since like she said I can reach a little higher too. Okay. So one last investigate on the books. Uh, 22? Um, she's not wrong. All of these books seem to be just lists of names, and each name basically is a procession of the person before it. So outside of lineage, uh, lineage and uh, that, there's no other pattern. They're all kings, queens, and that's it. There's no pattern that stands um, out. Most of the names you don't even recognize. I mean, literally there's thousands and thousands and thousands of names yeah. in these books. And very, very few of them, if, as you're flipping through it, you recognize. Every once in a while, you will notice a specific name that you recognize from history standpoint, usually yeah. some sort of noble, whether it be a king, queen, prince, but other than that, there's duke no, nothing that such stands such. out outside of it being all like noble lineage, basically. Yeah. Okay. Can I look at the... Like the wall and stuff, and see if I can recognize anything. Sure. Like the runes on the wall. The various there. runes that the rogue was looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, give me an <coughs> uh, arcana or religion check. I'll do ar arcana because that that's a two. <laughs> Nine. Nine total. You're kind of looking at it like you know. <coughs> Come on. You Let's think go. it might just be a pattern on the, that? they used for chiseling on the walls. It's very nice wall. Very nice wall. Let's go. Investigating That's right. the door. Cool. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Investigating the door again. For traps? Yep. Okay. Investigate. It's not about the dice, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to see the trap of watching the roll of freaking two. Right. Uh, as you're checking it out, you see that it has an identical trap poison trap as the other one. I'm like, ah, I've seen this before. Up close and personal. <laughs> Oink. <laughs> Everybody move out of the room. Okay, I'm about to pass some gas. Okay, I'm gonna... Hopefully that's... 
You're gonna what? I was gonna say I'm gonna scoot out of the the line of the fire. Blast. You might wanna I'm shut the door. Religion investigate while I'm in here. Okay. You might as well. He's gonna find religion. Twenty. Um, Jesus, checking it out. Um, you are not particularly certain, and then you remember a something that. Uh, you, some a little bit of information you picked up from uh, uh, Kimiko and from the uh, old woman at the temple. <clears throat> they don't have. They most people don't worship one deity here, so you kind of come to the conclusion that this isn't about a singular deity. It's about multiple deities. All right. Relay that information to everyone. Let's go ahead and pause, and I'm going to get him to bed. Okay. So, uh, you were getting ready to check out the door, and everybody had backed off into the, the back room because of no dice rolls. Fear, fear <laughs> of possible poison spray, okay. and you were getting ready to deal with it. What are you doing? You got this, man. Over the walls and stuff. Blah blah blah. Multiple going to, deities. <laughs> going to try to disarm the trap, like this. Well, that's well, disadvantage. Well, disadvantage for doing it one hand. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, so I will. I'll wrap my around my head. Okay. Right. Cover my mouth a little bit, and realize that there's no light over here. There's still the other torch. torch. Okay, there's still, it's still lit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was making sure that before he tells me, I roll my dice and I. Fumbling. Mm -hmm. Be disadvantage. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna try and disarm this trap. All right. Hey. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Plus seven. Plus seven. Yeah. Yep. All right, so you're like messing with it. You disarm. You disable the trap that's in there. Do I get the little poison by that? Damn it. Didn't do that good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to bring him down. Is it <laughs> clear? I'm just saying, you didn't, you didn't beat it by that much. Alright. So then I will go to unlock the door. Okay. Is it safe? The trap is disarmed, doesn't mean it's safe. Okay. <laughs> I still have to unlock the door. So what's all this rubbish about multiple deities? Eleven. What's all this? Eleven. Eleven. <coughs> You're like... Uh, and open the door. Ideas. <laughs> Roll the hinges again. Okay. And push the door open, and you see a 15 Mike. foot long hallway with a door, the weird marks just like the one that you just uh, just blah, 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 opened. Blah, multiple deals. Right. You know, this one is the best one. This one is not. I lean back. This door is done, and there's another one. Rubbish. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So I'm gonna to investigate the hallway real quick. Okay. Just gonna go in. <laughs> Investigations. That is a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Twenty-two. 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 Twenty-two.
I'm not sure. Paladin? I would like to go. Alright, then I'll be behind the Paladin. We can have a clear fighter. fighter. She's a fighter. fighter. That's right. I, Arcane. Mm-hmm. Or oh, Eldritch Knight. Yeah. 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 Sure. Alright, so you approach the, the door cautiously and begin to unlock it. Mm-hmm. Which one is unlocking though? I keep forgetting it's. It's your Dex feast tool, so it's Dex plus Dex. Yeah. your plus seven. Prof- proficiency, so it's plus 7. So 22. Alright, so you're like click, click, and it uh, easily yeah, unlocks. Alright. And it uh, opens into the hallway you're in. Okay. Back up! <laughs> <laughs> There's enough room, you can just pull it up, and I'll just let you know that it opens yeah. up. And I'm going to peer into the room. All right, you, as you open the door, you kind of peer in, you see a, another set of bronze doors. Only this time it's like an actual set of double doors. Uh, far more elaborate than the, the doors that you've been messing with, but it does have the same uh, demon uh, face, uh, uh, jade demon face that are basically inlaid into the, the doors themselves. On either side of the door are two... Uh, jade statues that seem to be giving off this pale green light. Uh, enough light to actually light this entire room up. Hmm. Although it does kind of give everything kind of like these weird, eerie shadows to them. What do the statues look like? Uh, they just look like armored guys just kind of standing there like this. That's not good. I've seen in movies where these things come to life. What's a movie? <laughs> <laughs> Where people are moving the on a theater. stage. Oh, a play? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll step in slowly. Okay. I'll follow up behind him. Alright. So you slowly step into the room and you're looking about. Uh, other than the statues and the doors, uh, you don't see anything of, of any particular interest in this, in this room. Other than a set of keys hanging on a peg directly next to the door you just exited. How many keys are on the ring? Uh, there are two. Mm. Cell keys? Yeah. Just hoping there'd be keys for more than just the doors. You're just tired of me unlocking the doors. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on me. Everyone's no farts in their faces. Is everybody else moving up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, please. All right. So I want to go check out one of those statues. So you approach one of the statues, and you're kind of looking it over, and it appears to be made out of stone. Stone stone or like jade stone? It's jade, but okay. jade is a stone. Yeah, but that's a lot of jade. Well, the entire structure maybe, seems to be made out of jade, so... Maybe they've got some kind of, like, like, Medusa who makes jade instead of stone. What is a Medusa? The snake hair. She looks at you. Like a Gorgon. Yeah. She can make jade for me all day long. I'm good with that. Out of <laughs> you? No, not out of me. <laughs> I mean, there's... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of jade. <laughs> all right, it's you check the door. Care. So what are you guys doing? Someone's a little jaded. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, John has forbidden finger right. guns. Oh, oh. Sorry. I will investigate the double doors. All right. The double doors. You approach the double doors, and as you step in front of them, they just kind of slowly swing open, revealing a broad hallway before you. Uh, there, though, this particular hallway is not lit in any particular way. Is it? The pale green light that kind of emanates from these statues kind of floods into the room a little bit, giving you a fairly clear vision <coughs> out to about uh, 40 feet, or not 40, right, but 20 feet in front of you. And then it just kind of gets dimmer and turns into darkness beyond. Do we want to have breathe after vision? Pause for a moment. Sorry. We're good to go. Get this going. All right. Okay. So you have opened up the door. You see the pale green light kind of floods out about 20 feet. And then a little bit dimmer at that. And then just finally by the end of the hallway, it's just complete and total darkness. Do we want someone with dark vision to check that out, please? Or somebody with a light source. Yeah. I just snap a finger off one of those statues. Oh, God. <laughs> Close, right? Do you want to try to break a piece of the statue off to take with you, or do you just... Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. So how would you like to go about breaking off a chunk of the statue? 
poker with her big heavy axe. Can you cut a finger off of it? It's actually kind of a clamped around a uh, okay. a spear. Well, there's I'll the take tip of the spear. Tip of the spear. Yeah, yeah. Try to break the spear off if you want. All right, yeah, just a tip. This is hilarious <laughs> to me, though. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're so mature, guys. Yeah, I'm glad that we're all adults here. I held her up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're going to give me a strength check. 22? All right, so uh, you kind of take your axe and you reach back and whack. And a chunk, the you hit it, and the chunk of the spear kind of snaps off and clatters across the floor, spins around on the floor a little bit, and then right back up into position. Ooh, Nidro. So how about we? I'm the not. Statue? Can then do that the again? statue begins to move. Oh, you hear a slight creaking and crumbling sound as the statue kind of breaks free from its footing on the pedestal. It begins to shamble forward. What, what is that? Did he set off something? I'm gonna lean and go. What did you guys do? Wait, is that one of those on each of the statues? We woke him up! I thought those were jelly beans for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to ask for They're jelly beans. They're jade beans. Oh my god. Uh, 19. Erlu. 20. Juniper. 8. 8. 8. Okay. Ethan. <clears throat> 20. Adrian. 20. We're all just like... Oh, um, yes. Yeah. Read memory of us. 15. Alright. Ari, Lou, Ethan, and Adri. I'm just can, I, can I talk them back down? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You got six seconds. I'm what you know? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't oh. me. <laughs> I'm just gonna attack the one next to me again. Okay. Or wait, 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 wait. Actually, you're right there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, would would it get an attack of opportunity if I move? You yep. can use your cunning action to disengage. But then I don't. I only get one attack, correct? Yep. You don't get one attack anyway. I guess cunning well, action's I mean, bonus action. You want to get your offhand. But. Yeah, it's what I mean. My offhand will go away, but I still get this. But if I if I use that, I get to use the sneak attack on this. Yeah. Side. Yep. I'm gonna do that. All right. So your cunning action. Is that one Move moving? over to there, and roll to hit. I think they're basically just creaking awake. Both of them. Yeah. Uh, Twenty one. Thirteen. All right. So you you're using a dagger, right? Mm -hmm. So you. Uh, stab forward with your dagger, trying to sp basically find a, a gap in the stone armor, but you're just like, chink, and you don't it's even pierce sorry. the... Sorry, work. The, <laughs> don't pierce anything. Hello? Okay. Alright, so you threw your flame at it, and it about, just kind of hits it and kind of sputters out without any kind of impact, and you moved into the room. Mm -hmm. You attacked, but your dagger just kind of glanced off the stone without uh, doing any damage. So I only took a few steps. Can I keep going? And I don't know how far you moved, so... Only I'm like three squares. You can move your the rest of your distance after your action if you have movement left. Yeah, because technically your turn is still now yeah. until we in turn. Because you can hold action, but you can't hold movement. Okay. Well, Are you going to stay in the entryway like that? Yeah, he put his flame on it. Oh, no. Oh, keep going. Make room for more people. Mm -hmm. So you move okay. forward to attack? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to cast my Hunter's Mark on it. So there's your bonus action cast Hunter's Mark, which leaves you one act, one attack action. Okay, so I'm going to attack it with my sword. Uh, 16 hit. Mm -hmm. uh, so you swing, and the blade kind of, again, glances off of the, the stone of this of this creature and just cling. That's good. That bubble All right. Thing. All right, so Ethan, Adrian, Arily went, <clears throat> making it silence turn. Okay, I have something I can do, but the problem is you guys are, could be caught in the blast. So I don't know if I want to. At this cast point, it. you're kind of far away from anything. Oh, I can still move and then do it. So I just don't think I'm going to with people in the way because it's a um, 
a 10 foot radius sphere. Where do you want to move to? Um, let's see. So that cost me two. Get moving through her. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go to this corner. Um, All right, so you come through the hallway, and you're hearing the commotion, and you see these two jade statues uh, moving and preparing to attack. So far, the you haven't seen anyone attack, but it doesn't look like these things have taken any damage. Okay. All right, well, let's see what I have. I am just going to just try an Eldritch Blast. One of them. Okay, which uh, one? That one. Okay. Uh, fifth, sorry, 17? Uh, so you let out your blast and it and it basically just kind of creams off of the, the statue's stone flesh. So, no, oh, I don't, I don't know yet. You, you didn't oh, hit it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't hit. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that was a miss. I just thought maybe nothing, no effect. You're not penetrating hit. its armor. Okay. Which is all it has. So. All right. Well, I want to it's say something. Because I think I have a spell that can work, but it has like a 10 foot radius. So, you guys need to move out of the way. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Okay. Alright, so the first bad guy, um, since you broke the spear, the one next to you is going to uh, swing around at you, and it flails with uh, one of its stone arms. Oh, that's caught. Hitting and... Sorry. An AC of 10. Miss. And then with its other one, It'll hit. hitting an AC of 23. Four. Four points of bludgeoning damage. The other one, uh, since you are the only one over there, will focus its attacks on you and it swings its spear at, its stone spear at you. Kind of like a club. And Yep, just a tip. And it hits an AC of 20. Yep. And we'll do uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage, and then it swings its other arm at you, uh, hitting an AC of 16. Mm -hmm. Doing another point, uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. All right, that makes it Bridget's turn. Uh, she's going to drop her axe and pull out her maul because she figures she's not going to break a stone with the battle axe. Okay. Uh, 27 to hit. Hit. I take it you are not raging? So, yeah, no, no rage yet. 13 points of damage. Okay. I have a pencil. You did, but you took it from me, so I took it back. And the How fizzy much? candies are evil. 13 points. Who's next? Juniper. Okay. Um, you hear sounds of battle going on, but at this point you have no idea what's actually taking place. Okay, so I'm going to move forward. Okay. So, you move forward, and what are you going to do for your action? You see two statues uh, seemingly moving about and attacking your new uh, comrades. Come out. I don't if know if I cast witch bolt. Bye. Close the door. <laughs> Would it hit anyone? Or no, it would go over them? No, you can target somebody without actually... Without being, like, it doesn't go forwards, it goes... Well, no, it goes forwards, but it only hits a target. Okay, I don't yeah. want it to hit a, a friendly Yeah, it, no. you can target whatever you want. Okay. Then I'll do a witch bolt mm -hmm. on this one. Okay. So roll to hit. Okay. It should be D20 plus your spell attack modifier. Which is on Which will be on your spell page. That 
Fifteen. All right, so you, <laughs> but you completely miss what? and do not make contact. Yay. Right. Initiative. Silent. I'll give you a moment. Fourteen. Fairy Lou. Five. Juniper. Twenty-four. Ethan. Twenty-two. Adrian. Six. Bad guys. Nine. Or seemingly innocent statues. <laughs> Juniper. Okay. Um. You guys feel about running? <laughs> There's a door. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm just right saying, there. Right there. Is it? This wouldn't be a bad thing. The only person that seems to be able to do damage is you. I got a big stick. But none of us have any other kind of weapon. No bludgeoning damage weapons? Are those doors unlocked? Yeah, they They're open. standing open. Oh, okay. Yeah. So who's um, first? I'm just throwing that out there. Juniper. What do you do? I'm going to move. Can I move? Like, oh. I, I say don't yeah. get close to it. I have a spell that I think can oh, work. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I'll, I will. You can always hold your action. You don't have to go that far. Well, yeah, so that other people can get out. Except that's not out. actually out. Yeah, we're kind of trapped. If you go in there, it's a dead end. No, There's nowhere true. to go. This is true. Okay, well, I'm going to go like, right, right there. Okay. Where's the page that has... Who's next? Sorry, after Juniper, it's Ethan's. And you disengage with your bonus action? Yeah. Or you can, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you still have a regular action too if you want. Alright, and then I'll hold my. You can't do anything. Throw a dagger or anything like that. Just. Sure, I'll throw a dagger. I have okay. Throw the It doesn't have a. That's right, don't have attack bonus. Do they have a. It should be you plus your dex. Yeah, plus my dex. for you it wouldn't be any different than stabbing up close. Yeah. Okay. It should so be the exact same. same. Exact same. Yeah. Well, since it's not a plus one, so it's just a plus seven, correct? Because my dex is seven, the other ones are plus eight because they're plus yeah, one. Yeah. So, so it's if it's a, if it's not a plus one, it'll be one less on to hit and damage, but that's it. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nine. Mm-hmm. So it just kind of scatters off down the hall. Pick it up. Next. Next, after Ethan, it is uh, Bridget. Bridget is going to attack the one that's in front of her. Okay. Going to swing her maul out. Uh, 25 to hit. Hit. Uh, 14 points of damage. And then she's going to back away. She's going to take the attack of opportunity that it will get on her. Actually, I'm probably going to move here. Ten feet. Ten, feet. Ten feet from both of them. Well, I would. I'm hoping to try All right, to hit it them. crits you on oh. your on its attack <laughs> well, of opportunity. Well, that's more than ten feet away. From, right. right. Well, I'm not. I was hoping to try and get both. Maybe. Fourteen points of bludgeoning damage to you as you basically try to back away from it. Fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Okay. So I have fifty-five points left. Okay. So after Bridget, it is Silence' turn. Okay, well, um, I'm trying to, I don't remember the, the exact um, size of what the 10 foot radius sphere is. So, uh, 10 foot radius would be wherever you center it, and then 10 okay. foot in each direction. So, there. like if I centered it here, it would be two squares out? Yeah, two squares back. Two so, squares if I did it here, side. it's still two squares, so you're still in. In order to get both of them, yeah, you're going to get... Well, right now, if I'm going to do both of them, I'm going to do those two. Yeah. Because you just moved within the same... She thought she was getting 10 feet away, sorry. Um, I am going to hold my action so that Adri can move away. Okay. Um, but other than that, I... So you're just kind of holding action, waiting for her to move. Yeah. All right. Who's okay. next? So after Silent, it is the statue's turn. All right. So the s- statue moves over to not just them towards the uh gnome oh there yeah damn it okay. and then we'll take a swing at the rogue and a swing at the warlock <coughs> so swing at the rogue uh 11. 
Miss. Barely. Swing at the warlock. I went 10. <laughs> Miss. Then the other one, a swing at the ranger. 13. Miss. And then a swing at the barbarian. 10. Miss. Who's next? Um, after the bad guys, it's Adri's turn. Alright, I'm going to... Smack it and run. Yeah. Move. Ah, you're going to hit it first and then? Yeah, I'm going to hit it once. Hit, quit it. 16. It's going to miss. Okay. Yeah. You can go ahead hit it with your uh, bonus action. Can I still after... And then move after? Yeah. Yeah, you can move. move. You don't have it. You can't take, and you can either, since you attacked, you mm -hmm. can't disengage. Mm -hmm. So it, you can either take them both and take the attack of opportunity or take one and take the attack of opportunity. Okay. So. Okay, so then I'm going to move back here and take the Aerith opportunity. So if I'm... It's an AC of seven. Miss. Oh, Early's turn. Yep. What you doing? Cure wounds. <coughs> that so would be much? a six. Initiative. Well, I held my action. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I'm casting a spell in combat, if I'm not targeting the person I'm combating, does that still affect concentrate? Like. Yeah, it's still a disadvantage. Well, I guess this one but, doesn't have an attack roll. So. Yeah. So if it doesn't have an attack roll, it doesn't really matter. Um. Bridget, are you going to be okay if I toss a spell your way? Hit me! Alright, so I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to cast Shatter at the one in the corner. I'm going to target directly on it itself. Okay. You so, don't want to try to get... Oh, well, I guess like... Oh. You could probably hit both of them, right? Uh, I would get Erlu in there as well, I think. Mm. Would I? So if I do it here, it's two squares out, so Erlu would get hit. I could get both, but Erlu would be in the way. But you don't have him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would you get that one if you target it here? Yeah, it's square two squares it's away radius, from here. So. so in every direction. But so diagonal. Yeah. One, and diagonals count. Yeah. Oh, so. okay. So if I center it there, I can get both. All right. Just to you. I'm, I'm going to do say it. That it's, it's a thing you can do. I'm going to do it. All right. So Shatter is a 10-foot radius sphere. Each creature on that must make a constitution saving throw. A creature made of inorganic material, such as stone or crystal, has disadvantage on it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so constitution saving throw. Um, All right, so they both fail. Yeah, I guess I should say the DC. 14. It, it doesn't matter. I, they both fail. 14 DC. Uh, you said Seven? only the inorganics, or everybody makes one? Huh? Everybody makes one? Everybody, everybody makes, makes a one. save. The inorganics have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, each creature <laughs> takes... You fail. Oh, yeah. 3d8 thunder damage. Okay. That's not going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've got plus six to that thing. I could have like, been stupid easy to make Seven. that save, but I rolled a one. <laughs> Only nine points. Nine? Yeah. Okay, so the one uh, directly in front of the gnome there mm -hmm. uh, crumbles into a pile of rubble onto the ground. Uh, and you said nine thing. to the other one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I have one for a second? <laughs> Picking up pieces. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Put him in a pound. Okay, uh, so who's turn is it? Uh, it's initiative now, or right? Yes. No, yes. Kidding, not kidding. Mm -hmm. Six. Okay. Erlu? Six. Juniper? Eleven. Ethan? Twenty-three. Adri? Five. And Stone Dude? Three. Three. Ethan's turn. Do it, CJ. Hit it with your fist, it's bludgeoning damage, it'll work! <laughs> Who's the hilt of my dagger? Who's not gonna hit her? There, just so I can, yeah, I'm gonna use the ends of my daggers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, that I, get my for turn. clarity, I, you guys are just missing. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of okay. resistance. 
So it's just but it's, it's, it doesn't have a, have a dex, it's not dodging anything. Your blows just aren't piercing anything. Okay. So then I'll just swing at it then. So since I thought Stop I was Stop swinging. I thought I was swinging. <laughs> yeah, your head rolled really crappy. Hit the statue. So. <laughs> There's one, so that's uh, 12. Don't you have magical short swords? No, that's me. Oh. He's got a magical deck. He okay. has magical daggers. Plus one daggers. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. I just couldn't remember what you had. They're just... So 17. Uh, so you swing and a miss. That's first attack. Second attack. Yeah. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to rage because uh, that hurt. And basically take my two attacks. I'm going reckless or just uh, that one's the one that gives me advantage, right? Yeah. Yep. Sure. Sixteen and uh, thirteen. Are you using your advantage or neither one of those hit if that was one attack? Okay. Um, the second one uh, would a twenty hit? Yes. Okay. Twenty will hit. Uh, five plus eight is thirteen points. Is that including your rage bonus? The plus yes. two for raging. So 13, you said? Okay. Uh, then it is Juniper's turn. Okay. Um, that would have been cool if you got all four of those hits. Yeah, it would have been nice. Yeah. Well, she only well, had two hits. She just oh, gets advantage. Yeah. yeah. It would have been nice to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so what you doing, Juniper? I'm going to move back in and... You can move diagonal as well. So. so I'll move up to it. Okay. And then I'll hit, try and hit it with my short sword. Okay. So how would this work? Eight plus whatever you roll for hit. Uh, twenty. Hit. And then one d six plus seven. Yep. And actually, technically plus eight because I don't think the plus one bonus for your sword is added into the damage roll. Yeah, because if you have plus eight to hit, it should be a plus eight to damage as well, right? Yeah, because of her plus, because she gets her dex modifier, plus two for the the dueling, mm -hmm. and then another plus one for the weapon, so plus eight. Okay. D six plus eight. Okay. So eleven. Eleven. All right. So you run up, and you swing your short sword, and you hit into it, and that one of the fractures from the thunder damage, you it, you hit that soft spot, and it just kind of crumbles into a pile of jade rubble on the ground before you. Okay. Whose turn is it? After Juniper, it's Silent and Ari Lua. Silent. So, so it's down? Yes. Um, the cure wound. Seven. All right, well, I guess uh, since I don't know if there's anything else here, I'm just... You don't just, currently see any more threats. I want to examine the crumbled jade in front of me from the um, the statue that's smashed. See if there's okay. anything. Give me a perception check with advantage because you're standing right there. Matter of fact, I'm not going to make you roll it. Oh. <laughs> you notice that some of this is basically laying there. Uh -huh. Parts of it kind of shift a little bit. And it's starting to come back together like the shattered... You're pretty sure that it's going to reform. Um, is there a way I can check and s like an arcana check to see if I know how to, to, to potentially disrupt whatever is animating them? Sure. Since, you, since you're not using your perception check, you can use this your arcana skill. Eleven. Uh, you you don't know. You, you've never heard of such a such a thing. Can I is it my turn? Yeah, I mean, oh, you've heard of various yeah. constructs and everything, but this is <laughs> like a, a stone wall that work? you've seen before. I want to yell that it looks like they're reforming and they're like, just try to keep smashing them. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm I running have over picking up pieces of jade, just throwing them down. I the have hallway. something, and <laughs> we should probably just run. I can cast it. I can pa cast a uh, Pass Without Trace, and it uh, will form a veil around us. 
can try to stuff the fuck out of there. Mm -hmm. I can always do it. Because it can't track us unless by magic, but I don't think those things can, well, hopefully they can't track us. I can do an arcana check too. So if Erlu and Silent have both gone, it's Adri's turn. I'm gonna, ca I'm gonna cast that. Okay, so you cast up. Pass Without Trace. Mm -hmm. So everybody, when you make stealth checks, you get a plus 10 to your Dex. to your check. Mm -hmm. So I think we should just get out of there. And then what you do? So you cast your spell, and then she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Leaf. gonna, I'm just gonna say to them, you know, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to beat these. We should just close the doors behind us, and they can't track us. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. Do you, you want to move out? Do you want to start moving out mm -hmm. too? I'm still right, throwing so pieces of chair. So, oh, so you can go this way. 35. Yeah. The one where all the, this, this situation is over here. So you can get here. So basically, well, oh, it's, turn is it? it's still turn over. Uh, so. After Adri, it is the Jade Monster's turn. Alright. So at this point, all of the pieces basically slowly start to kind of gather up and rumble back to the pedestals. And slowly begin to put themselves back together. So if you could put the beads on to where the statues are. Who's next? Nishin. Be faster than the stone. Silent. Thirteen. Erlo. Twelve. Juniper. Twelve. Ethan. Seventeen. Adri. Fourteen. Stone. Thirteen. Nice. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Bridget is first, uh, and she's going to uh, smash that one. It's trying to reform because okay. it pisses her off that it's trying to reform. Reckless again? Yeah. Um, okay. One's a crit. And the other one's a fumble. So. Well, it's not a fumble. You well, take the best one. Yeah. All right. So for the crit. Seven plus eight is fifteen times. No, you only times the dice. Oh, so fourteen plus eight, so twenty-two points of damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, uh, well, most of the party is still in their room, so she's gonna, she, she's basically just gonna rage on the on the rock until everybody else is okay, past so her. next? Ethan. You can stab and move. Yeah. I'll try. Mm -hmm. See how that has been. Do you want to do that helping. or do you want to stealth the one over there? Mm -hmm. Well, he gets sneak attack on this one. I get sneak oh, attack on one over here surrounding him. Hey! <laughs> 26 to hit. Yeah, That's a hit. It's sneak, sneak. And I'll roll the other one just roll it. 18. Uh, that's it? Pretty good. It's holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> the hits keep coming. <laughs> First one. Your sneak attack and everything. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> you tried, okay? <laughs> At least you did. Hey, that's 10 points still, though. That's 10 points. 10 with that hand. And then. And five more, so 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then now I will move. Dash as your cunning action if you want. But you mind you, at hand. that point, it's, it's oh, that's right. Uh -huh. Mind you, at this point, it's pretty much pure blackness behind you, so you can't really see much of anything. Mm -hmm. Since you don't have light source. So who's next? Adri. Then I'll be silent by this. It's very dark down here, <laughs> and I need you to come back this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. I'm thinking. Somebody had a torch. Adri. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. I'm gonna drink a potion. Okay, so you drink a potion mm -hmm. as your action. Mm -hmm. 2d4 plus 2. So six more points. Mm -hmm. Then movement. Um, just take two more steps in. Okay. Somebody's going to lock the doors. Mm -hmm. Or shut the doors. Who's next? We're silent bad guys or Simo. So are they reformed at all yet? I mean, you're in the process of reforming. All right. Do you want to do another 
Um, just get the fuck out. <laughs> I will fire a, a Eldritch Blast at this one. But I'll move as well afterwards. But right now I'll just try and blast it. Probably should hit the other. What? Oh, so, <laughs> no, I'm the one that's. Well, I'm, I don't know if it's. So 22 to hit? Hit. I mean, unless you actually kill it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so 13 force and 4 cold, so 17 altogether, so if okay. any of that matters. And then... Uh, Silen with Simon with the bad guys. They are in the process of reforming. Okay, Erlu and Juniper. Um, <coughs> I guess I'm gonna follow suit. Go to. Okay. Are you just going to do standard movement, or are you going to standard dash? Standard movement, thirty-five. Because yeah. you can 35. use your action to dash. Do I need to dash? I know that's up to you. Depends. Are you running or walking? Do you need to move further than that? No. Okay. <laughs> Juniper. Okay. Can I see if there's any way to stop these things? Okay. You want to use your action to do an arcana check? Okay, go ahead. So it's 8 plus arcana? Mm hmm. Um, 15. Um, you're not really certain. The magical energies that uh, creates them, you're not certain as to where that comes from. But nothing that you guys have done seems to have permanently ceased, uh, caused them to stop doing what they are doing. Okay, and can I? You can still move. Still? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. So okay. It's the bottom of the round. Should we move Connie? Yep. She moves. Uh, Thirty. So She'll actually dash. Over here or further back? Okay. So it's one, two. How far forward? Um, how, whatever full movement is. Okay. So, so that was one, two, one, three, four, five. So she can get to here. All right. So she gets up to there, but she can't really see anything because she are she are human. Okay. She didn't cast light. No. Because she used her move, her <laughs> action to. She didn't preemptively cast light on the previous yeah, turn. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she did. But somebody has a torch. I don't remember who has the torch, but somebody there has the torch. Oh, you have the torch. Silent? Uh, 15. Erlou? Did I? Uh, he couldn't eight. have had the torch because he needed both hands to do it. It walk. was you. Yeah. I think you Juniper? had the torch. 25. Show off. <laughs> What's your name? Your breath. Okay. <laughs> 20. Oh, you're Uh, 16. Yeah, don't whisper to Why? 16. <laughs> I don't know why we're whispering either, because I had to say what like three times. Mm -hmm. Juniper, you're first with a 25. Okay. <laughs> you can hold your action. You can't hold movement, though. So if you're going to move, you have to go ahead and do it. Yeah, I'll hold my action and I'll move through with everybody. So it costs two to move through a friendly person's square. Okay, so one, two, three. I'm face that way. I'm not running backwards. Well, she's a halfling, right? No, she's, she's a gnome. gnome. Never mind. Halflings get the yeah, who's next? movement thing. Adri is next. Adri? Mm -hmm. We will assume that you have the torch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sounds good to me. Well, no, because you're using two swords. So somebody else has the torch. But she had the torch the, originally. Was she gave it to the druid. Alright. I'm going to move her. Connie has the torch. Four. Connie has the torch? Yes, oh. Connie is the NPC. She has the torch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at this point, the torch is like passed to you. As the cleric goes by, you pass it off to the cleric. And she's like, fine. And she runs up there, and you see a set of stairs leading up to the uh, left, and then another set of double doors to the right. The question is, do we want to mess with the double doors again? Yeah. Stairs probably means out. So who's that? Next? Uh, Adri went, and that makes it the Jade Dude's turn. Alright. So, 
the one that hasn't been attacked multiple times over in this corner, mm -hmm. since everybody attacked that one out of, in front of the dwarf, like, repeatedly, is now fully formed and begins to move towards the dwarf. All right. Come at me, bruh. <laughs> yes, it's dripping hard. <laughs> so, 14. Miss. And 16. Miss. Okay. It swings at you a couple of times, but apparently cannot hit the naked dwarf. I'm not naked. Okay. I have an AC of 18, and if I have my shield on, it's at 20. That's I'm assuming nice. with a maul, because it's 2d6, and I'm probably using it two-handed. Yeah, you have but to use a maul. Yeah, it's yeah. only So even, with, but even then, with my armor class being 18, I'm doing this. Okay. Who's next? Uh, I throw the bad guys. It's Silent. Silent? All right. Ethan, you're out. I can't move further than this if I still want to do an action. So I want to Eldritch Blast the one that's attacking the dwarf. Okay. I've got a 120 foot range on it. So yeah. Um, 23? Hit. Do I have to separate the damage? Does it matter? Okay. Just for ease of use. Yeah. 9 plus... So 13. 13. Do anything. Um, I will hold my action for now. Yeah, remember, you can't hold movement though. Oh, yeah. oh. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Can I let them know what's over here, or do they see it too? Does he see it? There, there is light there, so pretty much everybody can see the that's, stairs the door, except yeah. for there really can see that there's stairs there. Yeah. The door might but not the door is not necessarily visible to everybody, but like Ethan can't see the the set of doors, but you can, you see, can the see the stairs. So can I not see the door? Okay, wait, I got you it. can see the door because you can see. So if I move back to here and close this door. <laughs> Okay, so you close one of the doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've I've moved back to here and pushed this door shut. So you have to come through here. Okay. okay. Who's next? Bridget, doing? she's gonna take her attacks on that one there. Uh, eighteen and eighteen. Okay. Are you in reckless? Um, no, because I think eighteen's are gonna hit, and I wanna I need to move. So. You can still move with reckless. They just have advantage on attack rolls against you. Yeah, yeah, I just I don't want them to have the advantage with me running away for the attacks opportunity. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Okay, so... 4, so 8, 16 points plus... Uh, less than 16 15. points. Thank you. Okay, so you <laughs> smash that one twice and it crumbles back on into piles of rubble on the floor. And then I move my 5 this way. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh. Leaving right. him to close the door because that's fine mechanical skills that I don't have right now. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? Barry Lou. Uh, I'll probably head over and close this door as well. All right. So you move up and <laughs> as you watch the bits of rubble. Is there any way to latch it? Yeah. Is there any handles or anything on this side? You can relock it with your thieves picks. Oh. Now we'll just the, the same way that you open it. So I have to just roll for him? Yeah, but is it on your turn though? Yeah. So I think it's everyone's initiative now. Errol is gone, everybody's no held actions, it's initiative. I'm gonna <coughs> also just tap him with guidance. Well, okay. you have to do that on your turn though. Yeah. Oh, well, I was he was lost, I'll, I'll, yeah. s I'll say that he can do that and close the door. Yeah, Closing okay. the door is not well, really. Well, he went last too. Not really an action per se. Yeah, it's just kind of a. Silent uh, and Erilu. Thirteen. Sure. Ten. Ethan. Twenty-five. Adrian. Eight. And Jay dudes. Ten. Okay. Ethan. This guy is giving you guidance. You get one d four extra to your skill check. Seven. Eight. 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 Eight.
Alright, so you easily just like and lock it up using your your action for that and can use your movement if you wish. And your bonus action to dash, should yeah. you choose. Okay. Mind you, I don't know where you're gonna go, but I can dash to the end of the <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me, coming through. I'm right back. Nimble I'm motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back down to the other end of the hallway now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so you see doors and, and stairs. stairs leading uh, upwards. Uh, Which way are we going? Who's next? Bridget. Bridget's going to run to be uh, basically with the group, turn to face this way, at the and door, then and basically rage wears off at that work, point. Yeah, we're working myself down from the rage. Uh, Just gotta remember that because if you don't attack something or take damage, yeah. or it get it done, that necessarily, necessarily have to take damage. But if you don't get attacked or attack, yeah. then it wears goes off. Away. Yeah, we'll just keep going if she keeps attacking. It can go for a full minute, so basically yeah. ten rounds. Nice. Um, but I was gonna, I was planning on calming down anyway. Uh, Ari Lou is next. Yep, she had some chamomile tea. Yeah. <laughs> take some deep breaths. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, that's as far as I can go. Okay. Alright, so what are you guys gonna do? Are we off initiative? Uh yes, for right now. Okay. Um I say we go up the stairs. The cleric's like, yeah, I think we should go up the stairs. But if I don't know why you guys managed to piss off a statue. I mean, only you guys could come up with something like that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. Sorry, it just seems like something <laughs> yeah, Jenny would say. You'd be, you'd be surprised what we can get ourselves into. <laughs> yes. You'd be surprised what we can piss off. <laughs> Very little effort. Well, I, I'm assuming that we're underground, but none of us have any idea, do we? Oh, oh, I'm a dwarf. Are we underground? Uh, uh, 20 for my check. Check on <laughs> your, your am I underground skill? <laughs> I am a dwarf. I think genius. I can understand from air quality and stone structure whether or not the building is. You know what? It's an, you made it an intelligence check. What is your total roll? 20. Yes, you are fairly certain you are underground. Yeah, underground. It's a little damp. <laughs> it's a little damper down at the bottom than up top. She's the, That's usually she's how the it guy is, from the old uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> so are you doing? We are definitely underground. Let's go. Or let let's go upstairs. But if it's stairs lead up, <laughs> then we're underground. Well, these are going up. Some stairs go down. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, you hear the doors. <laughs> <laughs> run! So we should stealth too, <coughs> since we have that. Stealthily well. run! <laughs> yeah. The thing is, so all right. So give me some stealth checks. Can we power walk? This is there? plus ten, correct? Yep. Holy uh -huh. shit! That was the best stealth check this character will ever get. <laughs> True. Thirty-two. <laughs> That's the best it's gonna That's get. Pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> Goes into another plane of existence. <laughs> 29. <laughs> 31. Okay. 23. She actually rolled a better stealth. Uh, is it the plus 10? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Plus 10 plus your whatever your stealth would be on there. 35. Okay. So you guys, uh, as stealthily as possible, make your way up the stairs. And it just seems to go on for a little while and then about 20 feet. And it kind of turns back up on itself and continues upwards. And it does that about five times until you come to a, uh, a blank stone wall directly in front of you. Not jade, just regular, like, stone, like limestone, you're pretty sure. Dwarf, would you like to lick this wall to see yes. what it is? <laughs> Are there any symbols or ruin, runes in it? Nothing? Ruin. No weird faces? A blank. Um, I don't have detect magic, so I have no idea if there's like a magical investigate. Yeah, there's there's it, there's no room or anything. It literally, the, the stairs go right up to a wall. Back down the stairs. Well, so pushing on the wall, okay. nothing. You want to investigate the wall, I guess. Nineteen. Right. 
Yeah, you kind of look at the wall, you're like, Kick. move a stone and it <laughs> slides open and you see uh, open fields out in front of you. Uh, down the hill a little ways from here, you can even see that the village about half a mile away. Is it daylight? Uh, it <coughs> is. But, guys, there could have been more things down there. Sure. There's jade statues that want to kill us down there, and there might be more of them. No, but There's a lot of things. <laughs> if you'd like is, to check it out, you should. <laughs> the thing is, if we were down there, like something put us down there, so something must be down there. Well... We, we know where it is now. We can oh, prepare you. and come back without being, you know, locked in cages. <laughs> is it the same village where we disappeared from? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you would guess that you're probably just uh, maybe north uh, east of it a little bit, uh, just on the edge, of, just outside the edge of the of the forest where the the yokai and everything supposedly live, but outside the ring of. Uh, cherry trees. Cherry trees. We keep showing up to town like this on the outskirts from some unknown place. And this isn't like favorite. the direction where the the witch of the woods or whatever is supposed to be. No, you're not even into the actually in the woods at this yeah. point. This is just kind of in the side of a kind of a rocky hill. We're face. not out of the woods yet either. I just assumed that it, we weren't by the witch, but I wanted to clarify just in case. <laughs> so you step out of the the doorway. Because it slowly starts to close back up. Yeah, let's go through. Yeah. All right, so you guys kind of rush through, and it kind of closes back up behind you and just blends in perfectly kind of with this rocky hillside. I stick a torch on it. Like in Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> I need to be able to find this again. <laughs> Place a beacon. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Something's going on here in town. We have to figure out what's going on. You know, but it is only probably like 9 a.m. at this point. Because you guys got up and went to look for her and then disappeared. Yeah. So well, it's only been maybe an hour. The weirdest <laughs> thing about all that this is forward? that we disappeared, but none of the villagers did. So does that mean that something was planning on attacking the town when it was vulnerable? But then, mm. or why they just don't us? like outsiders. But you guys have been in town for how long? A while. A few months. months. Yeah. Yeah. Even so, it so. Could probably. Oh, it doesn't like elves. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not an elf. No, but they came to town. You came to town. Now there's problems. But you got taken well away from us. Elves. You're not an elf. I know. She's, She's blaming it on us. Just yeah. saying. We showed up in town. We showed up in town, and it's our fault that things are happening. We showed up. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys just gonna hang out here by the the secret entrance to no, some I, I started yeah, walking towards the yeah, let's start walking just, back in the, the, the all village this is while, like we're while we're talking who puts right. a dungeon out of Jane? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever it's not cost effective I'm just I'm just think off okay. <laughs> well we have some ideas on the symbols in there we can um, kind of look over you see a fox kind of glaring at you and you swear you hear <laughs> and it runs off it's not very funny it's not very funny at all Oh, wait, I have to speak to you again. But it's magical. I believe that is. Because he can talk to animals too, but. And he can, yeah. He can turn into. The fox just says I want to talk to us. Basically, anything he can look at, I can turn into. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, within, no, no, he can't turn into that. But he can't turn into that because it's magical. So could you turn into a wall? No, it has to be an animal. Animal. Yeah. Uh, uh, not mineral. Not, <laughs> not vegetable. Because then you could mineral. just blend in. Though a bear could be if I just decided to go hibernate. Mm-hmm. Well, we, ha so, we have information about stuff we saw in there. We can ask around. There's probably some people in town who will know what some of these symbols mean. Well, and it's really close to town. How do they have a dungeon here and they don't know about it? They probably it's do. pretty well hidden. Yeah. Tomb. But they might know about it. Maybe it's a tomb. 
There was an altar in there. It's a place of worship of it some kind. It could be an Maybe that's how they get you in. Worship. They get you in the inn. They're like, here, have some clothes. Take off your shoes and put on these rocks or sticks or whatever on your, on your feet. And then here, take a bath. You stink. And then <laughs> you're gone. Mark you really, you really bent thing. about the stinking thing, aren't you? I, I don't care. I think I smell nice. <laughs> like a tree. That's been shot in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so at this point you guys have made it back to town itself. And you see the village is, pr the town is pretty much just going around about its business as it would normally do. So uh, People are kind of walking about. Uh, you hear people muttering back and forth. Those that actually speak the language, uh, you hear various people are kind of just in passing talking about the the attack and how like Yokaido can't get into the village what's going on so we don't understand what i want to do is as we're entering back town people i see i want to see if anyone looks surprised that we're back just in case um no uh as you pass by people most of them will put kind of politely kind of uh, bow in your direction, smile, and give you kind of like a polite greeting or whatever, it just in passing. Uh, but nobody seems to behave in any kind of peculiar manner at your presence. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> well, I didn't think it would be that easy. No, I just know. in case there's someone who's like, what? But you guys are um, where you intend to go in town. I mean, you guys did have originally a plan to go see the Witch of the Wood. Yeah. But... Well, we were injured. A few of us are. Yeah. Um, so maybe take yeah. like, about half. rest up. We're back to napping. <laughs> well, <laughs> drinking and napping for you. Yeah, well, afternoon. Well, let me in right now. Take a day just to we could just mask around and then decide if we want to try and come back to here or if we want to still go to the the witch, like originally planned. I can push the power. just go they won't let me to the witch to because it. things aren't going to stop happening. How many hit points are you down by? Uh, I am missing about half. Can I see what spell, uh, what level is. Sh Never mind, I know. So, six and nine. So, plus 15? 15. 15 hit points back. Who else is down some hit points? Down 15. Well, I might as well. <laughs> so, we Six. Oh, not bad. Six and... And 13. So, 19 hit points back to you. Who else needs some hit points? You. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, she use a first level spell on you. <laughs> so... Uh, ten hit points back to you. <laughs> Who else? I'm down nine. Uh, nine hit points back to you. Mm -hmm. I'm also down nine. Mm. So, uh, eight hit points back to you. Okay. She hands you a potion. You're not with my magic. Have a potion. Right. Okay. Well, she already used a second level spell. Four. Yeah. <laughs> so now, how many are you down by now? Uh, 17. But it's okay. I saw, I have 45 hit points right now. I'm fine. Sure? Probably. <laughs> okay. So, A we, should, swoops in. we should go see the Witch of the Wood then. Yay. Let's do it. We're off to see the Witch. The wonderful Witch of the Wood. <laughs> that could be your mom. <laughs> Who is right. this, my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for my dad. No one else here is current. I know. Okay. Okay. Alright, so what are you guys doing? What? To the witch. To the Steven witch. Universe. That's a Stephen Universe. Uh, yeah. To the witch, to the witch, to the witch. Alright, so we're heading to the witch. Is that what you're done? Yes. Alright, so you guys kind of make your way through town. Um, you guys uh, swing by. Uh, per Connie's request, you guys swing by the um, temple one last time, and she purchases two more uh, potions. So if you would put on her character sheet uh, two more healing potions. Well, just one more, right? We, 
So if she has one already, she... I don't know if she actually had one on her character mm -hmm. sheet. I'm gonna buy two more while we're here, too. It just seemed like a cleric thing to do. She had four, it looks like, so... She had four, yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah. just add one, so she'll have five. I speak... I speak Minotaur! I speak common, gnome, sylvan, kyodanese, and primordial. Alright, I could talk to her. <laughs> we can all talk to her. In gnome? You guys know gnome? That's what I'm saying. I could actually say things to her. <laughs> we could say things to her in common. You know, it's not a language barrier here. <laughs> but you can talk to privately. <laughs> I can talk privately. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, buy up some potions and begin uh, making your way. Do I have towards? Uh huh? Do I have any form of money? Yep, it's listed on your sheet right there. Me too. Cool. Okay. It's 55. How much are potions? 50, 50 gold. gold. <laughs> I'll buy a potion. What else are you going to spend it on? There you go. Write in a potion. You can't buy magical items. Subtract 50 gold. Anywhere? Magical items are only found in this edition? Well, in the edition, but there are places in, the, in this in the world. It's up to DM's they're, discretion. They're, yeah. they're pretty yeah. rare places and it's major cities. Mm. You guys are not in And major, major really cities. expensive, probably. Yeah, they're really expensive. Unless you have a really good 500 discount. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys managed to pick up some potions and you begin working your way uh, out of town towards the uh, field, past the this, this buildings and everything, beyond the, the ring of cherry trees and you approach the forest and you see these two ancient, crooked, gnarled and knotted oak trees that kind of just rise up on either side of this path that leads into the, the forest. Uh, on the trees are these large uh, rice straw ropes with the little zigzag pieces of paper like you saw at the temple before. And hanging between the two trees is, is another one of these ropes that kind of hangs above with the little bits and stuff hanging above that. Um, you're looking around your, where you're at, and everything is, is pretty bright, colorful. The grass is green. There's blooming flowers, and you can hear birds singing and everything. But you look into the forest, and in spite of the sun uh, kind of filtering down through the branches and everything, it seems far shadowier in there than it typically should, than what would be deemed natural. So you're saying this is a shady forest? It is a very shady forest. Uh, you can hear the cawing of crows from somewhere deeper in the forest. Can we tell what they're saying? <laughs> they're saying, Ka! Ka! Don't step in it. So for those of us with um, dark vision, does it appear to like influence that as well? Does it yes. seem like an imposing like magical darkness almost? Yes, almost like a magical shadowy darkness. Okay. Not really dark, just much dimmer lit than what should be. Attacking the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> so this is always weird for the first people that don't know, but and then I'll dire wolf. Okay. So you see him turn into this <laughs> literally a large horse-sized wolf. Can I touch it? <laughs> <laughs> you can ride him. Technically, any of you could ride him. Yeah, He's large. <laughs> He is well, technically mount size. He's mountable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he would like it. Shake your head up for two minutes straight. Like he calls for the alpha for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> the elf thing. <laughs> but either way, so here you are you on the edge dinner? of this forest, looking into the darkness, preparing <laughs> to step stride forward, and I guess that's where we'll call it for tonight. Because right. it is not quite midnight. midnight, but we can't really get too much further than where we are right now. Mm. <laughs> okay.